All right, I want to introduce you to Beaches for the Brave. This is a solitaire war game by Mike Lambeau. Mike has put out, about, I don't know, five or six of these. There they are right there. They're solitaire war games. Uh, now I know what you're thinking. Oh, gee, you know, a, so a war game, it's probably really complicated. It probably takes hours to play, and extensive rules and all that. No, this is very simple. It's very cool, fun to play, and easy. That's right. That's right. You can get these on Amazon. Um, so the rules are here, right? Uh, you're gonna have. You're gonna get twelve uh, beaches, and they're gonna come in varying uh, difficulties. Okay. Uh, but the rules are, are very easy to. Uh, if you watch this video here, I'm gonna do a playthrough, so you're you're gonna learn the game as you watch because it's super easy. Now, like I said, the beaches will come in varying um, difficulty. Like there are some beaches, that, like this one here. These are grenade ex explosions, right? So there's more on this beach. You're always going to have uh, six um, sections of an enemy bunker, sometimes uh, split. Now, if they're split, you know, that means... Well, actually, this one, this one has only five. But look at all that beach. So you're, uh, this water here, so you're exposed all the way up until here. Because look, uh, the circles with the black outline, if you land a unit on there, that means you're exposed to enemy fire. If you're on a bolded, uh, even this arrow here, if you're on a bolded uh, circle, uh, colored bolded circle, that means you're protected, all right? You're, you've taken cover. So you can't be shot at by the enemy. Now the arrow, if you land on there and roll a six, that means you can shoot a section of the, uh, uh, of the, uh, uh, this one has seven actually. Uh, you can shoot a section of the enemy bunker. But we're gonna play, uh, we're gonna play uh, beach number one. Uh, the thing is, I mean, look, this book is great, right? It, li it lies really flat. I'm gonna use these, uh, these little cubes here, and you need uh, six uh, six-sided dice to play this. Uh, but you could use a pen, right? You could get an app uh, that has dice, and, and you could just use a pencil. You don't want to use a pen because if you use like a sharpie or something, you're going to want to play um, this particular beach, for instance, multiple times. So this is not like a play once and throw away type thing. You know, you got 12 different beaches on here, but you're going to play them multiple times. So you could use a, a, a pencil, just light markings, and then you can erase it. Uh, or you can put a, a, a plastic uh, sheet here and then use a dry erase uh, marker. Or you can use little cubes or other tokens, you know, to put, to put on here. But anyway, uh, beach number one, Utah Beach, Normandy, 6 June 1944. Here's some historical flavor text, right? With air and naval fire support, the 4th Division of the U.S. Army landed on Utah Beach some distance down the coast from the intended landing point. Resistance was light and casualties were relatively low here, but still the brave men faced a difficult task. So what is the task? Uh, our units are going to be right here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, representing each uh, die that we have here, right? And we have to get our units up this beach, uh, and we have to, our objective here is to destroy all six sections of the German bunker, okay? Like I said before, these are grenade explosions, so if a unit lands on there, uh, it's gone from the game, right? And, and these bolded spaces are covers, You'll see as, as, we, uh, as we play here, the, the G spots up here uh, are, um, these circles uh, are, um, I can't believe I just said that. But anyway, these circles here with the G, uh, they, they, if you land on there uh, and you roll a five or a six, you can lob a grenade and, um, and destroy a section of the bunker, right? But again, these here, you're exposed. Uh, the bolded ones, you are under cover and protected, right? So the first thing we're gonna do is roll four dice, right? Because in this particular beach, uh, we can have allied air support. Only one time at the beginning of the game, we roll four dice. If we get any doubles, we can destroy a section of the bunker, okay? that's We're gonna start with that, because why not? I mean, we need all the help we can get. 
and then it's the allied forces phase that means we roll uh, let's say this was our roll we have to allocate those dice to each unit here so let's go ahead and put the units here the red cubes I'm using to mark uh, every time we destroy a section of the enemy bunker so our units are here and if you noticed earlier they're numbered one through six right so we have to take these dice and we have to allocate them to each unit so there's a lot of decisions in this very simple game you still have to decide what to do okay because um you know, uh, a roll of one here is going to leave a unit exposed if I put this here. But one is not going to be good for anybody. So I have to see what's best. Like for this one, two would be good because it would put that unit under cover. So anyway, as we begin to play, we're going to have to decide which unit is going to get which die and what their movements are going to be. Right now, uh, just briefly, uh, during the game, if we roll three matching uh, dice okay like three of a kind then we can use allied naval fire support to destroy a section of the bunker but that means three of our units are not going to move right because we're going to have to take the, the the triple let's say it's three ones let's say we rolled three ones well we use that as the allied naval fire support but then three of our units are not going to be able to move and if they're exposed there's danger right because the enemy is going to roll six uh, dice or however uh, many available sections of the bunker they have and if they land on any of these uh, sections here where uh, a unit is exposed uh, it's gone we, we lost the unit you know casualties of war um if we have a uh, a unit on an arrow whether covered covered here or not covered and we roll a six we can allocate this six to this because, by the way, each unit has one track, and the units are not going to be jumping around tracks, right? So each unit has one specific track all the way up the beach. If we have a unit here on an arrow and we roll a six, that means we, do, we can use that six, instead of moving, to destroy a section of the bunker, right? Uh, if we're here uh, on these spots, like I said, if you roll a five or a six on, on these uh, Gs here, you get to destroy a section of the bunker with a five or a six roll. Uh, if we roll two sixes, let's say we roll two sixes, we can choose to suppress enemy fire. But that means, again, if, if those two dice have been used to suppress enemy fire, two of our units are not going to move. So we have to look at this carefully because maybe it's better to use both those sixes to move. It's going to put some of those units in protected areas, right? Now, if we lose, let's say we've lost these two. If we roll a double three or double four, we can bring him uh, back as reinforcements over here on the beach. Okay, so that's one way you can bring um, you can bring units back. And if we uh, do a run of like one, two, three, two, three, four, five, uh, you know, four, five, six, that means an officer is present. And if we don't want to allocate, let's say we rolled one, two, three say we rolled one two three well we can look and see if it benefits us to move one two three if not that means this run uh it means that an officer is present and we can re-roll these okay so let's begin and we don't have allied tank fire support in this particular beach but uh anyway let's begin you'll see how the game uh flows here it's pretty cool so, like I said, the first thing we're going to do is roll four dice, and hopefully we will uh, get doubles and be able to knock... Uh, no, we got two, three, four, five. We did not roll doubles, so the allied air support could not uh, help us here, okay? So now it's our turn. Uh, that was the first thing we did because it offers us that on this beach, and now we roll these six dice and see what happens. Okay, we can use two sixes see this is a, a good example here we can use both of these sixes to suppress enemy fire that means basically the enemy skips a turn but let's see because maybe moving maybe moving the units will be better than suppressing fire so one two three four five this i want to give uh, this first unit the five here one two three four five because it puts it on a pr on an, on an arrow space and a protected arrow space, right? 
Now, oh, gee, Alex, uh, you said that if a unit was on an arrow, you could use a six, yeah, yeah, but only one die per unit, right, per turn. So it's on an arrow now, but it's on our next turn that if we roll a six, we can allocate it to here to be able to, okay, you got it? All right, so one, two, we, we don't want a unit landing on a grenade spot because otherwise the unit blows up and is gone from the game. So we don't want a unit landing on these uh, grenade explosions, right? So I'm gonna allocate the number two die over here because it puts this unit on a uh, on a cover, so to be protected from enemy fire, just like that unit there. Now let's see one, two, three, four, five. I don't want to use the five on this unit because it'll put it on that grenade spot. So one, two, three, four, five. That will expose it. One, two, three, four, five. That will expose it. Two, three, four, five. I'm going to use the five on on unit number six here. One, two, three, four, five, because it, it puts the unit protected on, on a cover. And, <coughs> whoa, excuse me. I could use these two um, dice to suppress fire, but two of our units are going to be exposed. One, two, three, four, five, six, it, they'll be exposed. One, two, three, four, five, six, they'll be exposed. I'm gonna put the one over here because we have to allocate that one to somebody. So it's gonna go to that unit. I'm gonna suppress enemy fire. I've decided to do that. Okay. So that was our first uh, turn. The enemy does not get to fire because we managed to uh, allied suppressing fire. We suppress fire with those two sixes. So guess what, everybody? We get to go again. <laughs> Fantastic. A lot of little decisions to make in this game, you know? A lot of decisions. All right, here we go. Oh, wow, and I did not roll a six. That's crazy. I didn't roll a six, and that stinks because I was hoping to because that one is on an arrow. Well, anyway, let's see. We This one four for sure. See, this one could use a four, two. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. That puts both of those units in a covered spot. Uh, the two here, one, two, puts that unit in the covered spot. Now we gotta look at these units here. One, two, three, four, five. I'm going to put the, well, yep. Oh, this is, wow, this was a fantastic roll. One, two, three, four, five. It's in a covered spot. And one, two, three in a covered spot with on an arrow. So we got two units on arrows. And because every single one of our units is protected under cover, the enemy does not get to have a turn. Because they can shoot all they want, but they're not going to shoot these uh, units. So we, we're doing fantastic so far. The enemy hasn't even had one turn yet. All right, so here we go. Oh, wow, and I still didn't roll a six. I was hoping to roll at least two sixes so we can... Wow, this stinks. All right, let's see what I'm going to do with these dice. You know what? I, I did roll a one, two, three. That means, remember remember, I told you that means an officer is present with a one, two, three? I could hope to roll sixes here. But let's see what we're gonna do with these. Um, well, I can put the one over here because that, well, but it's gonna move it from that space. Let's see what I wanna do. Uh, one, two, three, four. Five is good for uh, unit number six here, the five, because it's going to put that unit way up there, protected too. I'm going to re-roll these, all right? Because again, that means an uh, uh, an officer is present, and I can re-roll the one, two, three. So let's re-roll these. Let's see what happens. Hopefully, it won't turn out worse for us. Oh yeah, and I got what I wanted, which is the two sixes. Okay. So one six is going to go here because it's going to shoot a section of the bunker. The other six is going to go here because it's going to shoot another section of the bunker. So both those sixes, instead of suppressing fire, now I actually want to take two of their two sections of that bunker out. 
That's the, the you got to make decisions in this game. Now we have a, a little bit of a problem. Uh, five for sure over here. Okay. Um, and we have to allocate this. Why well, I rolled one, two, three again. What well, can I? I think I can only do. Can I do that? Wow, does it, uh, this is interesting. I don't know if the, this was not addressed in the uh, in the rules. I think I already had that one, or I already had a two or something. And during my re-roll, I ended up with one, two, three again. So I, do I get to re-roll? I don't know. I'm going to say I don't. Um, but anyway, so I have to... It's going to be bad for all three of these units here. It's going to be bad for all three of these units. But I don't know what else I can do. Uh, this one goes... I'm going to do this. One, two, three. Because at least it puts it on an arrow, right? It's exposed. Whoa. Uh, two, it's going to put that on an arrow. Though it's exposed as well. And one is going to expose that unit. And this one, one, two, three, four, five, it's protected. And these two with the sixes are going to shoot. So we got rid of two sections of the enemy bunker. Wow, I'm worried about these three units here. So um, the enemy has four dice. The enemy has four dice. Let's see what happens. Hopefully they won't roll a two or three or four. That's highly unlikely. Uh, wow, okay, it hit a three. So because that unit is exposed, it's gone. Uh, the ones don't matter because that unit is protected. And the five doesn't matter because that unit is protected. So that was good. Well, I mean, we lost one unit, okay? So now it's our turn. We only have, we only roll five dice because we lost one unit, so we only have five. Hopefully I'll roll sixes again. Now, if I don't roll sixes, I have to move, right? That's that's the way this game uh, works. Now, I did roll three fours. It says here if you roll triples, right? Where is it? Um, if I roll triples, I can destroy another section. But that means three of my units won't move. So let me see these two fives here. Where I could put them. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, I'm going to use a five here. One, two, three, four, five. Because that puts them on an arrow, but also a protected arrow. I'll leave that there. And one, two, three, four, five. Oh, this is great. We're rolling really well. One, two, three, four, five. It, it puts that soldier under cover. So we have every soldier in a, in a covered spot, in a protected spot. Three of them are in arrows, and I will use these three fours for the Allied naval fire support since the air support didn't help us. We get the naval fire support, and we knock one of those out. So now the enemy can only roll three dice, and actually the enemy is not going to roll any dice because all our units are protected, so we skip the enemy's turn, and we roll five dice again. I mean, we have three units on protected arrows, right? on arrow spots. So hopefully we, we roll sixes. That would be great. Okay, we rolled one six, so I have to allocate that six to somebody. I did roll three, four, five. Do I want to re-roll? Huh. Now, what happens here is that we have to move these characters, right? If they go beyond that spot, they come back here. Okay, if they go beyond there. Uh, that means they they uh, they went beyond there. They they died heroically in battle, and then we get a reinforcement here. So if I allocate a die here, and this one gets off the board, then that means <laughs> we get a reinforcement here, which is not good because that die is in a good position. I could I could maybe allocate the three for them. Now again, I have a three four five, right? So that means there's an officer present. I could re-roll these. And hope to get, if I get two sixes, I win the game. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to risk it. Now, who do I give this um, five to? Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. This guy. I'm going to give it to unit number four. Right? 
because one, two, three, four, five, it'll put it in a protected spot. So I am gonna re-roll three, four, five. I will re-roll these again. Hopefully I will get three sixes. Highly unlikely, but let's see. Oh wow, I got two sixes. That is very powerful. Very powerful. Oh wait, I won because I already had a six there. I put a six here on two and I put a six here on five. And it doesn't matter what we do here because this unit is on an arrow. It shoots a section of the bunker, gone. This unit, too, is on an arrow. It shoots a section of the bunker, gone. And this unit is on an arrow. It shoots a section of the bunker, gone. We won. We won. Beach number one. But you get an idea how to play this game. It's really cool. And like I said, like I said, the other beaches will be harder, right? So there are some beaches here that the bunkers are separated. And you have to look at the arrow. Like that arrow is shooting at that bunker. So that arrow there cannot shoot at that one, right? This one can, these can, right? So usually it would be these three shooting over here and this one in the middle, one over there and one over here to balance things out. And both of these shoot that. So it's a tougher beach, right? It's a tougher beach. And then you have, uh, and again, some of them will have allied uh, tank fire support. Um, this one, you have to, to, to kind of go over this area here and you're gonna be exposed, right? Except for right there. Um, there's some cover spots. I mean, these, these beaches, like I said, have varying difficulties. Here are some more grenades. The position of, of each uh, beach makes it, you know, either harder or easier. This one's tough because there's so much water space that you, you literally, you're going to take two turns, three turns possibly, two turns probably, to get these people into safety. Meanwhile, you got the enemy shooting at you. Look at how many grenades here. This is a tough beach. You do have... Allied tank fire support by rolling double twos, right? You can eliminate a second. But look, there's seven sections of the enemy. This is a very cool game. Uh, I've really been enjoying this uh, solitaire game. I like solitaire games. I like solitaire war games. And uh, I own uh, another one of the books, The uh, Ghosts of the Jungle. Uh, so maybe I'll do a playthrough of that. But I wanted to introduce you to Beaches for the Brave, this wonderful, wonderful solitaire war game by Mike Lambeau. Available on Amazon. Go get one.